Ah. Wait, where is this? Where are we? Reavers? Reaver Lord? Oh. <laughs> I just don't have tolerance for this right now. I'm pissed. Get out of my way, dude. see down here. I should have probably had this out the whole time. I can barely see anything this whole dungeon. Boar meat. Sure, that's raw though. Am I going to cook it? Some healing, that's nice. You could sleep here, Dargo. Chamber pot. Um, I don't think we will. We should be pretty close to the surface, right? Wait, salt. If I'm going to cook the uh, boar. Maybe I'll cook some fish, too. Time to die. Nah. <laughs> ah, Volendrung is the best. Thank you, Malakath. Malakath seems... Okay, I can't check her for some reason. She glitched out. Malakath seems to be the one Daedric lord we've dealt with so far that just does not fuck around. Whoa, they're burning... Trauger for fuel, I suppose. Oh, look, they've hauled all the bodies here. I guess if you're underground and you don't want to go above ground and you're on Solstheim, there's not much timber anyway because it's all tundra. Burn the bodies. Oh. This is where they throw their kills. Um, you know, the razors usually just leave them on the roadside. We never really bothered dragging him anywhere. Just take the stuff and go. I don't know why he bothered bringing a whole body down here. I guess, I guess, unless you really need to, uh, fuel for the fire, but then their bodies aren't desiccated like the Draugr are. The Draugr would burn pretty nicely, I bet. Those bodies won't burn that well. What in the fuck? This place is crazy. Where am I? <laughs> These guys are like, what? Where did you come from? I'll show you what a real be up high. I know we're gonna have to go through all this again to check everything. Okay, apparently uh, nobody up here. Dargo, it looks like you did. Sounds like anyway, you did what you were trying to do. Hey, dude. You alright? Note to Mirren. Look, Marin, I'm not arguing that these towers are falling to pieces, but I think you are exaggerating about the planks falling out. Oh! <laughs> he took the time to write several dash marks before he fell. over the uh, bridge here to the other tower. Down, down, down. Hmm, can we cook that fish and uh, boar meat that we picked up? Yes. What about the... No, we can't do anything with the fish. Damn, okay. Titan helmet. 
Hmm. bunch of stuff to sell off here the next time we're in town, which hopefully we're not too far from town. Where are we, incidentally? It's nighttime for sure. Where the devil are we? Blood Skull Barrow. Okay, we went, covered damn near a fifth of the uh, island, <laughs> or a fifth of the island's uh, north-south distance underground mm hmm I presume Dargo killed this person and Dargo's about to kill another one hmm oh somebody's shooting me who's shooting me I can't get to you. Yeah. Damn it. You know what? I fought worse than you. <gasps> there we go. Maybe he'll slide all the way down here. Yeah. Perfect. That's where we came out. What a crazy ass island this is. This looks like some East Empire stuff that washed up on the shore. Is there a ship out there? Uh, what are those things? I mean, I know what they are. Stilico doesn't know what they are. He's never seen a Nutch before. Well, you know what? We're already halfway, basically, to the Waterstone. Do we just go do that? It will require us to cross the water, maybe? Nope, maybe not. I think we're going to do it. We're going to do it. Whoa! Oh my god, dude! <laughs> I thought there was a giant monster coming out of the uh, water there. I didn't know what the fuck that was. I don't think I've ever fought an ice wraith in the water. Ah, I can't even get to it. There, that'll take care of it. Oh, God, my heart leaped out of my chest there. I didn't know what was going on. Somebody's stash of food over here. Oh, beautiful, a clear night. That's the sound of me dripping water, I guess, from my clothes. It's the first, it might be the first clear night we've had since we got here. I can't get it. Morrowind's right there. It's crazy. Is the stone up this way? Have we come far enough north yet? No. So 
Something else is up that way. There's a cairn there marking the way. I presume that's water dripping. Yes, it is. I was going to say, otherwise it's a mud crab sneaking up on me, and I don't know where the fuck it is. Curious about that. Hello. You're not Bilgamuk, so I hate you. And you hate me. Oh shit, I missed it. I missed the stone. This is as far north as I can get on this side. Weird jellyfish creatures. Birds flying through the air. So apparently, the stone was up this hill here where the cairn was. I should have trusted my curiosity. This way? Yep, this way. Oh shit. Cultists. I think that's a cultist. <sighs> Fuck. Ho oh, ho! Dargo's up there. Ow. There we go. So the cultists are just babysitting, basically. I think. For the people who are working. Here, Don't worry, man. I'm gonna get you out of this. Just a second. I have to do this weird-ass shout. I don't know if I... Bend will. I did. Okay, good. Go! Watch out! There's gonna be a monster! There it is! Dargo! Whoa, shit! I went around that thing way too fast. Okay. Fuck. There's a dragon. Oh my god. Why? Fuck. Music rocks. Son of a bitch. Guess this thing is fully charged. Oh, don't go down way over there. God damn it. I have to wait for him to come back now. People that were here just ski daddled. <laughs> Apparently, they're fighting something over there. Reeklings, maybe? There's a Reekling running over here. Maybe the Reeklings and I are friends right now? Hoping the Reekling would distract it, but apparently it didn't do it for long enough. Let's just follow this thing, Dargo. Come on. Yep, we are allies for the moment, Mr. Reekling. Let's 
see what happens here. Yep, no, I said that already. This is too far away for the Reeklings to help me. Means the dragon's just gonna be waiting for me to get up here. Get him, Dargo. Ah, fuck. Damn, what the hell? Took away a quarter of my- what was that, his wing took away all my life like that? Did it! Now, are the Reeklings gonna want to kill me? I know, I know, I know. What's his nuts is gonna show up and steal his soul? Maybe? Oh! I got it! How did I get it? Now we gotta kill the Reeklings! <laughs> what the hell? Why did he jump out of there just to die? Dargo's taking care of the Reeklings, I think. Well, that's heartening. If, uh... If I... If I can actually absorb souls... Pulse Geast Empire stuff. <laughs> Glad I killed that dragon. I wasn't exactly ready for it after having to um, free the stone, but I'll take it. These guys have anything on them? Yeah, sorry, we're no longer allies, I guess. My friend just killed the hell out of you. It's a rough way to go, Reekling. At least it's a quick death. Tired and thirsty. Hey, are you alright? We're already late. Not sure why we decided to take such an extended short time. Hmm? Mm-hmm. of life learned. Uh, I don't remember... Where, oh, here we go. Heals everyone close to the caster 220 points. Single use. Then must be reacquired at the Waterstone. Whoa! When did I get this? I don't remember that at all. Um... Allows me to use my Thum over and over again in rapid succession. That's news to me. The North Wind. Targets take 20 points of frost damage for 10 seconds. Single use. And then the other one is Bones of the Earth. Caster ignores 80% of all physical damage for 30 seconds. That would be good. I should use that against that damn dragon. And then Conjure Rare Bear. Okay. Gotta remember I got these. There's the Netch. Okay. Uh, except I don't know that they're Netch. Well, nothing's stopping us from going back to Raven Rock now. Ooh, except I do want to check out that boat. I haven't talked to this lady yet. Where did you come from? I mean, I know you were at the stone, but how did you get past me without me seeing you? Is that magic? Carefully, please. Yeah, I'm good. We're good. Everything's good. Well, I don't think you can blame me if I decide to use another one of these water walking to go check out this boat. Of course, how do I get onto it? That's a question.
just jump really high off the water. And there's nothing here. Okay, fine. Let's just water walk as that seems to be the most direct route. We'll do it until we run out of juice. Did it! Someone left their fishing stuff here. Holy crap, what time of day is it? It's midnight, just after. What? Where did you come from? Uh, a bit too late to act all scared. You came charging at us. You could have, if you spotted us, you could have just walked up the hill and we would not have known you were here. But instead you were like, oh, here we go. And then as soon as you were like, oh shit, wait a minute. Is that a giant orc in Daedric armor and a weird shadow dude? Ah! <laughs> oh, too late, sorry. You're gonna die. Again with the brightness in the sky, it's nuts. Hex. Oh, sorry, not even hex. Pentastones. That means I'm close to Raven Rock. Here we go. Good. Why I thought they were hex stones, they're clearly not. They're five sided. My mistake. Put that away. Oh, man. That was a crazy production. Okay, I gotta go back to the mine and talk to the dude. I wonder if he's awake. Caselius, or whatever his name is. You have a grim look. Hello? Well, shit. They have a house. They don't sleep in the mine. What am I thinking? They live in a house. They were just down here because it was daytime previously. Ugh, that was silly of me. It's an interesting pose. <laughs> Very casual. Mirak, at home. Death. Um. Alright, I'll find him in the morning then. More important that we sleep right now, I think. I'm pretty sure I reserved the retching netch indefinitely. I don't think I gave him a checkout date. Thanks. I'm pretty sure I still have a room, though. Welcome to the Retching Netch Corner Club, home of the finest Sue Jammer that will ever grace your lips. Yeah, yeah, I'm still encouraging people to drink it. Hey, why'd you uh, ban Ball Brawl Cedrell, whoever the hell that is, from your inn? Have you seen the poor girl? She's a mess. Yeah, so what? Oh, she used to be richer than Councillor Morvain, and she's spending it all drowning her sorrow. As much as I love making coin, I can't watch her do that anymore. I won't. Oh, okay. So you're a good dude, huh? Um. She has a right to do what she pleases. I suppose you're right. If she wants to spend her life at the bottom of an ale mug, it's her choice. Tell her she's welcome back any time. I. Oh yes, he collected rent. Them the taste, my so we're good. Once they take a sip, it'll sell itself. I'll tell her the next time I see her, which probably won't be till tomorrow. I think this is not my room. My room is directly behind the bar, which is a little odd. K 
Okay, well, I... No, wait, what? Dude, what the hell? I have a room, right? It's this one. No, <laughs> I just walked into that room. <laughs> nope. Hey, you butthead, I thought I re re uh, rented a room f indefinitely. There we go. <laughs> I'm calling this guy a butthead. I can't remember where I sleep. Uh, okay, so we've, we've got a couple black books now. We read that one. I wonder now if we read that. If I try to use it, can I read it? Actually read the text? Or does it take me back to spooky, scary land? Apocrypha. And then that one's the first one we picked up. We still haven't done that one. We'll do that one. Maybe tomorrow, I don't know. Um, we have picked up a book or two that I thought we wanted to read. Uh, oh, we got spell tomes to sell. Lots of them. So, now that we've got this confirmed that it is Hermaeus Mora... Hang on a second, let's, let's consult the journal here. Um, we need to get back to Thirsk Hall... We need to return to Cressius. He'll probably be in the mine tomorrow. We need to cleanse the Sunstone. That's the only one that's left. And it is... Uh, it's not going to show me on the map. Hang on. It is where? Right here. Okay, so the journal does have us going to talk to Naloth, which is in the same direction. So we can do these two together. That one's in a different direction. That one we can do tomorrow when we wake up. Um, this one is the one that's returning to my mind, specifically because we now know it's Hermaeus Mora that was at Septimus's glacial cave and um, is here on Solstheim, apparently somehow affiliated with Mirak. Because when we saw Maroc, we were clearly in the same place that Hermaeus Mora spoke to us just now. Apocrypha. Just now. You know, earlier. Um, so I'm kind of thinking, before we get deeper into this Maroc thing, maybe we want to go back to the mainland. Kill a farmer. F farmer. <laughs> kill a farmer. We'll probably kill a farmer or two, too. Um, kill a farm farmer. Harvest the blood. Go back to Septimus and just see what the fuck is the conclusion of this as regards Hermes Mora before we come back here and dig deeper into Herm Hermes Mora. I want to know as much about this thing as I can before I get more into Maroc because I want to know whether this weird freaky tentacle eye monster is on my side or not. So I'm thinking tomorrow we turn that in then maybe go back to the boat Go back to the mainland. Find a Falmer. Maybe we do um, this quest, which is down in uh, the rift. Get Falmer blood there. Then head up to where Septimus is in uh, Winterhold. Then we could, I guess, go to Markarth while we're there and get that done and then go back to the rift and turn the numbers and burglar jobs in. Or we could just say, once we see Septimus, let's just come back to Solstheim and pursue this further. Um, the Thirst Call, Cleansing the Stone, and talking to Master Naloth at whatever is the name of the place that he is. Tell Mithrin. Of course, that's a Dwarven Ruin, too. We could... Maybe maybe there's Falmer there. I don't know. I would think it's full of Reekling. Everything we've seen on this this place is Reekling, Reekling, Reekling. And we killed a dragon and got a soul. So maybe Mirok's not as strong as we think. As we first thought. Okay. Yeah, uh, that's the end of this place. Play Boy, having trouble talking. The end of this play session, everybody. Thanks very much for hanging out with me this evening. I appreciate it. Um, this evening. Whatever time of day it is that you're watching. 
I'm not hungry and I'm not thirsty, so I'm not going to bother having a meal. We'll take care of it in the morning, I guess. Um, seven hours should be... Yeah, eight hours should be enough. Until next, everybody, thanks very much for watching. Take care, and I will see you around.